Hello everyone, this is Sam over at the Foot Whisperer Reflexology Institute here with a video today on how to find the solar plexus and adrenal reflexes. And in just a second, I'm going to shift to a different view where we actually draw them together and you can always draw them with me. Uh, but at the same time, it's a little bit technically complicated. So I really wanted to do a video in and of itself for these two points, outlining some of the basics so that if you know anybody who's super stressed or even if you're a bodywork professional and you're looking for two really simple reflex points in order to help really get your clients into that relaxed state first and foremost during the beginning of the session, this is the video for you. And these are the points that I would recommend. These are the points that, as you'll see as we release other technique videos, that I do at the beginning and end of every foot reflexology session, no exception. I often get the question asked to me, Sam, you know, if there were only one or two points that you could press and you had a limited amount of time and you really weren't able to address any other points on the feet, which ones would you choose? And these two would definitely be it. Solar plexus and adrenal reflex points are really my go-to for stress reduction. And they also are a fantastic gauge as we get into more advanced videos. As far as assessment, solar plexus reflex point really gives us a short-term view of how much stress the nervous system is holding at this particular moment. Whereas the state of the adrenal reflexes really gives us that long-term hormonal view of how much stress hormone are floating around in the client system over a long period of time. So these two points are not only fantastic for relaxation, but great for assessment. And I hope that you enjoy the videos. Comment below, like, subscribe, and definitely stay tuned for more videos from the Foot Whisperer Reflexology Institute. Okay, everybody. So before we actually get to the technique video, let me outline for you where the solar plexus and adrenal reflexes are. And I've printed out this really simple footprint picture in order to show you. But here's the deal with these footprints. We have client's right foot, client's left foot. So this is as if you were looking at two feet that were in front of you, not right side, left side, but instead it, the feet are like facing towards you on the table. And that's how we're looking at these. So this would be your view as a therapist on two feet in front of you, okay? And this is the view that you'll also see in the technique video as well. So first we have to start by drawing our guidelines. So for any of you who have taken classes with me before, we start by mapping the body onto the extremity. And we start by creating the shoulder line guideline, which creates horizontal zone one or separates the head from the heart, as we like to say. Then uh, we create the diaphragm guideline just below the ball of the foot, separating horizontal zone two from three and two from one, separating that chest area from the abdominal area. Then one thing that you're gonna look for is you're gonna see on the video that we're gonna find the proximal head of the fifth metatarsal. And basically what that is, is it is the bony head that is more proximal or closer to the ankle of that fifth metatarsal bone. And that bump is gonna serve as our waistline guideline. And that separates the upper digestive reflexes from the lower digestive reflexes. And then we have the pelvic line guideline, which is not really relevant in this video, but just for posterity's sake, it is where that uh, proximal arch begins to meld into the heel. But we're really focused here on the diaphragm guideline and the waistline guideline for these two points. And then also we can draw a third guide, or uh, fifth guideline rather, which is the tendon guideline. And the tendon guideline is the plantar tendon, the tendon that we're referring to, which is basically that really thick ropey tendon, also known as the plantar fascia, that is normally in line with the third toe. Feet shape pending. Some people have it more medial, some people have it more lateral. Uh, so really just pay attention to that. But what you're gonna notice is, especially if you pull back the toes, you'll be able to pluck almost that really thick, strong tendon right in the middle, and that will serve as a guideline as well. 
But first and foremost, we have our solar plexus reflex point. And the solar plexus is the bundle of nerves that's just underneath the diaphragm. And so we find the diaphragm guideline on the extremity. Here we're doing the feet and we're gonna go right in line with the third toe. And you'll see me on the video really trace this out. But it is just on slightly below the diaphragm guideline in line with the third toe. And that is our solar plexus reflex. Okay, pretty easy. So as long as you know the guidelines and you know basic anatomy, you can find a lot of these points. Then we go to our adrenal reflexes, which are a little bit more technically complicated to locate. And here's where we're really gonna use the diaphragm guideline, the waistline guideline, and the plantar tendon guideline, okay? Now for the adrenal reflex, we are going to stay medial or on the inside of the plantar tendon in between the first and second toe or the first and second metatarsal, but we're gonna be halfway between the diaphragm guideline and the waistline guideline. Putting that all together, finding that proximal head of the fifth metatarsal to get the waistline, then going halfway up from that, and then over in between our first and second toes. There we go. Meh. That's a little bit in, it could be a little bit out. But again, depending on the foot, it will also shift as well. But we're gonna go halfway in between these two guidelines, stay medial to the tendon guideline, and then normally right in the middle of those two metatarsals, the first and second metatarsal. What you're looking for here is you're looking for this really nice ditch it feels like your thumb literally just sinks right in between these two bones. Sometimes even when people are chronically stressed, hence the adrenal reflex point, you'll feel a very distinguished knob uh, or a hardened lump of tissue that has formed around this reflex, indicating something like an adrenal fatigue. So just something to look for. Again, solar plexus right in the center of that diaphragm reflex in line with the third toe, and then the adrenal reflex is gonna be halfway between diaphragm and waistline, medial side of that plantar tendon, in between the first and second metatarsals. And now let's take a look at what that looks like technique-wise. Starting with finding the diaphragm guideline for the solar plexus, in line with the third toe, where those two lines meet, letting the thumb sink into that place, keeping the thumb joint slightly bent just to protect them, and holding this point for 30 seconds. At the 30 second mark, you'll feel a slight release in the tissue. A gentle pulsing may also appear, and that's the sensation that we're really looking for. Moving to the adrenal reflex, finding the diaphragm and waistline guidelines, like we did in the drawing exercise, in between the first and second metatarsal, halfway down, palpating for that ditch, sinking in with bent thumbs, and again, holding for 30 seconds, allowing the tissue to release underneath your pressure. And that is how we find the solar plexus and adrenal reflex points. Great job, everybody.